Hey YouTube, welcome back to Robert Outdoors. Um, today, you catch up with me in a local, uh, piece of a local woodland. Um, I've been here before. Uh, this is where I come and do my army when I did those couple of army ration pack reviews. It just reminds me. I need to do another one. I'll get that sorted. I'll do this one for you very soon. Um, so basically I've come out. It's a Sunday afternoon. I'm in, like I said, the Nas a Nas some National Trust woodland. Um, so basically I've come out just to reconnect a bit of bushcraft. Um, I've been a bit, <laughs> been a bit of a uh, stray these last few weeks. So I'm, I've come out to the woods and I'm going to cook up some beef ribs. Um, maybe not call them baby beef ribs, but some beef ribs slowly cooking in some red wine. Now you might see me a minute ago when I was walking in. Um, I've basically got a gas stove with me. Um, like I just said, I'm in National Trust Woodland. It's a Sunday afternoon, so this place is heaving, and basically, no, no fires in National Trust Land Woodland. I respect it, like I will. So basically, as soon as I light a spark, um, I'm going to have angry wardens. And like I just said, I'm here to just chill out for the afternoon, slow cook. Um, I'm going to have a go at a bit of carving, get myself a carving knife. Um, I'm going to set up my um, Hungarian Zeltban, I mean it's a Polish Wagyu, and it's not even a Hungarian Wagyu, is it my mate Haggard? <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to set that up um, in this nice little clearing I've got here, and then we're just going to have a, have a chill out on a Sunday afternoon in the woods, um, coming into autumn. It's about 12 degrees, I believe. The school's still degrees, trees are still green. Anyway, I'm here, reconnect, recharge the batteries. Like I said, I'm going to slow cook some, some beef ribs in some red wine. And I'll go chill out with you. There she is, all set up. My Hungarian Zelt band. Love this bit of kit. Um, I've had it for a year now, blimey. Yes, September is my birthday and sometime. Basically, I bought this for myself last year for my birthday, and I have been pleased with it ever since. Um, camped in it numerous occasions, overnighters. I absolutely love it. I know it's not the Polish Levy. This is the Hungarian Zoltban, which is also kind of a Levy. Two ponchos. Um, but this one's more square, whereas the Levy is round. So, I'm all set up. Get the grub on. No end of wind, excuse me. No end of deadwood lying around, so I shouldn't have an issue finding something to carve with. Um, hopefully, I'm going to say it now. I'm going to make a spatula. That's quite easy. Um, maybe something else. Let's see. Like I said I'm here for the afternoon. Don't really want to make space for dark. Them, it's up there. It's all the way down in our ass over there. Right, let's get this gas stove sparked up and get these beef ribs cooking because they're going to take at least an hour and a half. I would say a bit longer, um, but at least an hour and a half. Right, let's go through that now. So, I'm going to cook these, uh, these baby beef ribs, that's what you want to call them, beef ribs, in a mess tin. Um, ingredients I've got, mushroom, carrot, uh, a bit of an onion, uh, stock cube, oxo cube, not an ad, and then I've got my two baby ribs, or back ribs, or beef ribs, however you want to call them. I'm going to bring them over so you can have a look at them. Before I uh, stick them in the pan, look at them. Cheap to buy, on the bone, British, well hung, unlike myself. British beef, 
Look at that, nice thick chunky. The bone, right? You can see the bone there. It's got marrow. These are going to be freaking awesome. So that's how thick the bone is, right? The rest of this fat and meat will stew down with the red wine. Should be bloody lovely. Right now, let's be honest. You're not here to see my ugly face. You're here to hopefully watch me cook this uh, this fodder. Right, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to get my mess tin. And I'm going to put the gas stove on. Turn it down a bit. First things first. This is where I uh, lose everything. First, I'm going to put some heat some water up. In the mess tent. Don't ask me how much. A couple of hundred mil. I don't know, two or three hundred mil. About that much. What I'm going to do is. gonna just heat some water up and then I'm gonna drop in the, op the stock cube which is a beef stock cube Might hear a lot of uh, hear a lot of kids. Like I said, it's a Sunday afternoon. And this place is heaving. One beef stock cube. Stuck it in. And this is just a simple bung it all in one jobby. Now that's dissolved, I'm going to put my, my beef ribs in. It's like I, uh, like I measured the tin before I left.
All right, guys, we're about 45 minutes in. Let's have a look. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. drop more water in there just put a drop more water in give it another 45 and it'll be ready to tack in an hour and a half has passed um it is actually starting to get dark in here oh, that's because i'm in all the trees anyway look oh an hour and a half has passed look at them bad boys look at them <laughs> Where's my little uh, sport gone? Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, slow cooked. Wow. Mmm. Oh. Wow, only cost a, like a couple of quid. Cheap as chips, chips were cheap. So anyway, the the carving is uh, is not really coming along. Um, I got bored of uh, making a spatula. I was too busy looking at other things as well in the woods, birds and stuff. Um, I got boo boo. I haven't got my first aid kit because I'm a freaking idiot. But um, yeah, I made started to make this. Any ideas? Drop them in the comments. Do you know what that's going to be? Whoa. Oh, I know. Right, I'm going to tuck him. And as it's getting a little bit dark, I'm going to bugger off eat that first you'll probably see me eating it and then pack up and we'll leave you with Oh, 
Right, all packed up. Got my bag on. Just got to pick my uh, stove up on the way out. As you can see, I have left no trace. This is where the result band was. That's my log where I was doing my chopping on. Um, oh, let me just chuck my tripod down for a minute. So, three things I've learned from this afternoon. One, whittling is hard. Um, I have made stuff before. Um, I made myself a hobo hand line, hobo fishing reel, whatever you want to call it. Um, I made myself one of those during lockdown when I had to isolate for some t a week. Um, yeah, that was that was good fun. Um, but this is bloody hard. Um, number two, bring a pencil when whittling. Um, it, I, I see it all the time on Instagram um, and YouTube. When people make such stuff, they draw a guideline. I just went in blind. I think that's why I struggled. Third thing, I think I need a new axe or a hatchet because I've just got an old one, which I think I found at my mum's many moons ago. Sharp, don't get me wrong. It's, it's quite heavy, though. Um, it's more just like a kindling at home axe, I think. Um, I think if I cut that wood again, so I had a thin bit, I might have been a bit easier. Oh, four. Let's have a bonus one. Always remember a first aid kit. I have got no end of first aid kits at home. I get it in the neck from Mrs. RBO. Whenever we go to Poundland or Wilco's, I'm buying plasters and shit to go in it. I didn't bring it today. I'm having an absolute wally. Um, obviously, I've got my boo-boo on my finger. Thumb. I'm not going to show you because this video will get probably marked or some crap. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, this was my little relaxed afternoon in the woods and um, then banging beef ribs how good they were and red wine um, I had a whittle for well, an hour and a half while the, whilst the um, ribs cooked but yeah I really enjoyed it don't get me wrong it was good fun um, but I've got to bugger off now um, it is still light but I don't think it'll be light for much longer so we're in autumn now uh, bracken is starting to die. Anyway, I've got to go because the old memory's beeping, flashing. And I'm back. I just had to delete a shitload of stuff. Anyway, thanks very much for watching this video. Um, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like and comment down below. Also, don't forget to tell me that what that you think that little thing is that I started carving. They will carry it on. Might see it in a video further along the line. Anyway, thanks very much for watching again. And I'll see you all soon.